Here's part three of my chat with vegan feminist horror filmmaker, Melanie Light. Heads up, F-bombs, righteous indignation, you know the drill. Put that film out, was it 2014? Uh, we made it in 2014, the end of 2014, it had a first festival. So 2015 was like kind of a festival run. And then 2016, it went online via Viva, the um, Bristol UK based kind of like animal rights kind of group. They're like a UK version, like Peter sort of thing. So yeah, and it was important for me to like do the release via them because then people would have to go on their website to, via dairy campaign kind of thing to watch it. But like over the years, like now it's on like, I've always done non-exclusive agreements. Mm. I've always, it's got 4.4 million views on Ulta, which is like a US short horror film platform. It's still doing the rounds, mm. but it's, um, yeah. It's I've, I've actually written, I've written a whole feature that starts from the end of the herd. With the same characters? Mm, kind of. I need to redraft it actually. So um, yeah, then that's something that I really, really wanted to uh, do for a long time, that it isn't a low budget movie. So there's no way I would, you know, as a first time, cause I'm still trying to make a feature film, um, but that, that's on the that's there it's quite a big budget it's fucking epic though it's wicked but I need to like work on it more and like work on the development of the characters and stuff so it sort of delves more into the LV industries so because of LV. the LV industries which is the company that is breeding and milking the women oh oh, 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 oh yeah, so yeah the company at the end with the the cream Mm -hmm. So I've always wanted to oh, do chilling. Yeah. That's so I've always mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I added that bit in because I wanted an ex I wanted it to stand alone as a horror film, but as a message as well. And I thought it was important to have that so it came across more with an ending sort of thing. So there obviously we know that you know what's happened in the dairy industry, but I needed that to just have more of an explanation of why they were being milked sort of thing and it's interesting now like if you look like I'm watching you know the the latest season of The Handmaid's Tale and you know how huge that as a show has become and The Herd was out you know obviously the the story was out before I never read that before I made The Herd I'd never seen the like you know the film that I think it was a 90s version of it never saw someone mentioned it to me after they saw The Herd and then I was like, oh shit. Um, and you know, and I it's and also I've made another short film that is about kind of to do with abortion rights. And I've noticed like, and I personally never ever want to have a child. I never want to be pregnant. Like the whole thing scares the hell out of me. I don't understand why would you bring a child into the the world today? Um, and you know, Fair question. And I can't afford it. Um so it's like, and just, I have a fear of being pregnant, but it's, you know, so I've made a film, which is women being forced to have babies in the herd. And then I've also made a film, which is about women being forced to have babies because they're not allowed to have abortions. And it's like, it's sometimes you don't, you suddenly look back and go, huh. Ah. <laughs> it's, you know, cause we don't really like, we always, there's always a celebration of if you're a woman, then you, you know, the fertility and having babies and being a mother is something that um, is an important, like as, you know, be having a female, having a uterus and stuff. And I'm like, but to me, I'm like, I, I don't want anything to do with that, you know, but you, I don't see enough of that as a celebration, like on screen, you know, uh, I'm going off on one now, but like, it's just something that just, it niggles at me like I follow a group on Instagram which is about being a childless like woman mm. um whereas like yeah and I think 
that's it's like still quite a taboo subject and yeah. it's like because you know it's that whole like your body clock's kicking in but like just the thought of being forced to have you know to breed so that people can get this out of you and have these babies or you know just because they think it's right or because a religion tells them to or because people want to like have your milk and then and it's just like like we were saying about species is you know speciesism doesn't matter I would never ever want that done to me like and we would say that's wrong if we do it to people we make tv shows about that which is now on like you know massive tv shows that is on seasons five so why the hell is that okay to do to another species just because you know it's just it's fucked up so fucked up yeah just resolutely continuing to not connect those dots and it's like i mean even you know with feminists talking about full bodily autonomy for everyone you know okay are, are you a part of the humans only party because that's something that you have in common with the right wingers <laughs> you know yeah, well i you know I, it's funny because i mentioned this to someone the other day how i've noticed a lot in sometimes in w women led films there would be quite often i'll see something that is linked to some form of like animal repression and i'm like how in a minute so you're making this statement like about you know issues around female humans uh, but then you by you've put yourself in a position of power so you're just like oppressing somebody else now <laughs> like and i really noticed that and i've seen a lot of it because there is like a push like there's a push for like female directors and female stories and you know, but then I'll be like, well, you're just like, I've just seen you doing this on screen or you've just done that to that animal. Like, I I thought it was, all, I'll be like, I thought you were right until I've seen that. Now I don't like you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's so deeply, deeply disappointing. Um, it's very disappointing when that happens. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, sometimes I do choose not to consume that person's art anymore depending on how egregious it is that that yeah. connect. Yeah, we're going to get cut off in a minute, aren't we? Yeah, we are. <laughs> well, Melanie Light, thank you so much for chatting with me today. Thank you, you so much. Best. You are That's the best. Honor. Hopefully I can see you in real human form one day. Yes, yes. Um, next time I go to the UK. You can connect with Melanie on Instagram and over at her website, www.melanielight.co.uk. Thanks so much for watching and do please leave your comments and questions below.